A compensator is necessary in most cryogenic infrastructure to withstand the effects of cold contraction and warm expansion in the process pipe. This animation shows the function of a compensator. During production, the compensator reaches its maximum contraction as the pipe is being heated for an optimum vacuum pump procedure. This only happens once in its lifetime. In normal operation of a cryogenic infrastructure, the compensator moves between its neutral and operational position. In this example, between 125 and 150 millimeters. The low temperature of any cryogenic liquid causes the pipeline to shrink. As a result, the compensator expands to its maximum length. In this example, 150 millimeters. At the end of a production run, the compensator decreases to its neutral position of 125 mm as the pipeline warms up to ambient temperatures. This is seen as one thermal cycle. The amount of movement of the compensator is limited according to the original equipment manufacturer OEM industry cycles. Depending on the customer requirements, there is a selection of compensators that can endure 1000 cycles, 5000 cycles, 10000 cycles or even more.